everybody. Welcome back for another video. Here we are again. So where did we leave off last time? We left off by Eugenia kind of surprising us on her Instagram story by throwing up this photo out of the plane window that says flying to Los Angeles today. I'm on the plane right now. When I was doing my little script and going over everything yesterday, I had got to the story and it was something that she added in since I had already started creating the outline of last episode. So when we clicked on this yesterday, I was like, uh, I, I was gagged. I was like, oh, uh, okay. Well, <laughs> I guess I'll just scrap whatever we were going to do today and we'll talk about this. So Eugenia did fly out to Los Angeles on Tuesday afternoon. She got there and sometime in the evening, she posted this follow-up photo with the caption, landed in LA. We are going to be taking a look at Jeffrey's Instagram story, and then we are going to be diving into some of the footage that I got from the exclusive early access Scorpio palette party. Boy, say that three times fast. We'll also be taking a look at some clips that some of the other channels were able to record that I did not get. Again, it's very difficult for me to get TikTok footage. I feel like I've said this a dozen times, so I'm not going to say it a 13th time, even though I just did. And then um, after we're done with the footage, there really isn't much. There really isn't much. I mean, you know, it's Jeffrey's birthday. It's Jeffrey's big event. Jeffrey is front and center. I mean, there were moments in this early access party TikTok live stream extravaganza that they did Tuesday night that did feature Eugenia that we will be taking a look at. But for the most part, it was Jeffrey front and center fixing his hair, doing his normal, you know, defined jaw look thing and thanking everybody for sending in money. So that's a majority of what it is. Um, we are going to be doing Community Corner today. We didn't get to it yesterday, but I'm thinking that will be more toward the end of the episode, possibly after we take a look at all of the clips and footage from the early access party. Um, before we hop into the Instagram story, I just want to say, y'all, this channel has probably by the time I put this up, it's going to be very close to, if not have already hit it. It hit it's around 50,000 subscribers. I am just so appreciative for all of you. Um, I know that a large influx of my recent subscribers have been from the fact that I have been covering the Eugenia Cooney content. It seems to be very well received by a lot of you. And I think it's sparking a very interesting discussion among the internet. I think that it is something that a lot of people have interest in and a lot of people are wanting to talk about, but don't necessarily know if they can say the right thing or if they're saying things in a way that doesn't offend people or ask kind of the questions that they're curious about, but with, without stepping on people's toes. It's a very touchy subject. It's a very touchy subject. I think that Eugenia Cooney is a very controversial social media celebrity right now, contemporarily in 2023. And a lot of people, just, they're curious, they want to chat about it. And um, it just means the world to me when you guys come on here and give me feedback about, you know, oh, you're doing such a great job. You know, you're bringing this discussion to the internet in a very mature light and everything. So I just want to let you know, for everybody who leaves those kind words and everything, that really does mean the world to me. And this milestone is really all about you all. Um, it is an honor to have people wanting to come together and follow or subscribe to me in a way that they see updates and notifications about when my face comes on the internet and speaks words. <laughs> So I just want to thank everybody for 50,000. Um, you know what, guys? How about how about we get to 100,000 now? <laughs> Seriously, guys, heart hands in the chat. If you want to join my YouTube team, it's only one coin right above my head right here. All you have to do is give me one coin. And then after you give me one coin, I'm going to ask for more coins. But hey, you know, let's start off by you just giving me a little bit of money. And then I'll ask for more later on. Doesn't that sound like fun? So yeah, uh, I, you know, it's very great. We hit 50,000 subscribers and everything. But seriously, heart hands in the chat. Let's get to 100,000. <gasps> Ripped pantyhose. Thank you for the galaxy. Oh my God. What was I saying? Uh, oh, right. Anyway, um, so yeah, you guys can come in here and give me more money. <laughs> I will never get tired of dogging on TikTok. 
All right, let's move on over to Jeffrey's Instagram story, and then we will be hop, skip, and jumping into the early access party footage. Okay, we have now arrived on Instagram, and we are going to be taking a look at what our best friend since 2008 has to say. Oh, hey, y'all. We made it to Los Angeles. I'm about to go live in a little bit. We are doing an exclusive early access of the Scorpio collection on Miss Tiki. So come uh, for the journey, and I'll see y'all soon. Miss Tiki. <laughs> So, I mean, as this is already up, I guess the Scorpio palette has gone live. Um, this was kind of Jeffrey's plan all along, was to do something like that. I mean, we didn't know about it until recently, but all right, this is the last time I'm going to say it, and then I'll drop it, I promise. I called this. I called this. I called this. I knew that they were going to do some type of party, some type of meet and greet, some type of something. Um, they didn't really do anything for the Gothic Beach palette that I'm aware of, or at least in terms of Eugenia attending anything like that. We do know that she played a pivotal role in promoting the recent Gothic Beach palette. I, what was that, like a month ago? I, I swear, the Gothic Beach thing, when we were covering that, that was like four or five weeks ago. And Eugenia was very receptive to it, said it was her favorite palette ever. Um, lo loved the little bag that he sent her and everything. She was happy to make YouTube videos about it. So Eugenia is doing a very active role in promoting and marketing for Jeffrey's new products that are coming out. And it seems like Jeffrey is pushing, pushing, pushing new stuff, new stuff, new stuff. Um, or at least it's been that way the past couple months. So keeping Eugenia close is kind of the narrative that we have been following a little bit along here. Jeffrey knows that Eugenia is a very controversial social media icon at the moment. So keeping her close, having her juxtaposed next to all of the new products will make people look at Eugenia and then their eyes will divert to the new Scorpio palette and say, oh, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, I'll buy that. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, I could I could use some new primer. Oh, that, you know what? Mm, that, that tan looking eyeshadow, that would look good on me. All right, I think I'm gonna get it. So, hey, hey. That is the world of cosmetics. So, uh, did he have anything else to put up? Yes, so they eventually did go live on Miss Tiki. <laughs> um, you know what that reminds me of? You know those potato chips? It's like uh, jalapeno or barbecue. It's called Miss Vicky. <laughs> so they went live on Miss Tiki. It was a lot of... Um, Things like the emojis being sent in. Jeffrey made an obscene amount of money last night. And I did read somewhere, actually, that Eugenia was one of, if not the top contributor to Jeffrey's live stream last night. You know, like when you come in here and you send all these emojis, there's like a ranking. So I think that Eugenia was close to, if not number one for a majority of the night. And the figure I read that Eugenia had ended up sending in to Jeffrey's TikTok battle was somewhere around three to $4,000. So as Eugenia was kind of lurking in the background, staring, doing this, um, she was actually in the background of this exclusive early access party, sending in emojis to Jeffrey eight feet away. And she was number one out of sending thousands and thousands of dollars to him. So, you know, not only is she promoting Scorpio and all this other stuff for him and getting Jeffrey's name out there, um, she's also directly sending him money. <laughs> so maybe think, maybe she thinks that this is her way of paying him back for all of the merch that he gave her in Wyoming. A few weeks ago, Eugenia was in Wyoming visiting Jeffrey, and they went to his store, and they let her pick out basically anything and everything she wanted, and she ended up leaving the store with over 40 items to go back to Connecticut with. So maybe Eugenia's thinking, well, if he can give me hundreds and thousands of dollars worth of merch, you know, the least I could do on his birthday and his big palette launch party is I can pay him back a little bit, and I can send him all of the baby dragons and, you know, the lions, the witches, and the wardrobes to make me number one. Um, I will say, from the footage that I have seen of Eugenia at this party, she seems a little bit out of place, but 
I think the most important thing that we have to remember is Eugenia isn't used to all of this. She isn't used to the fast-paced LA uh, parties and mixers and going out and hanging out with uh, you know famous people and drinking cocktails and doing all this. So it, it was kind of, in my opinion, overwhelming for her. We will see it and kind of pick up on some of the body language that we do see in footage in the background of this. So I don't know. You all can let me know. It To me, to me, it really seemed like she was out of place and uncomfortable. And I mean, that's, I think that that's totally justified. I think that, you know, it, given the scenario, Eugenia isn't someone that flies across the country to go hang out with a bunch of friends in LA. You know, we've never really known her on the internet to do things like that. Um, normally, she's just hanging out in the pink room on the pink couch and, uh, you know, getting yelled at by her mom for trying to open the front door. So, yeah, Jeffrey um, broke a lot of records here on TikTok last night. I, I don't know if he was, I don't know if like this was the most prolific. TikTok live stream of all time. But when I say that he made an obscene amount of money, <laughs> I mean, just through donations alone. So it was so I mean, yeah, just imagine if if the Scorpio palette, you see, you see what I'm kind of getting at here? I, I mean, he's using TikTok in a way to reach out to people to promote his products. But I mean, that's that's something he's always done. That really isn't any, you know, insightful, enlightening information. That's what Jeffrey's always done. He got his start here, on, well, originally on MySpace. Remember, we've all been his friends since 2008. Originally got his start here on MySpace, and then Jeffrey started to do the whole music thing, and that didn't really go anywhere. So sometime in the, you know, mid-2010s, oh, that's weird to say, <laughs> sometime in the mid 2010s when Jeffrey launched this Jeffrey Star Cosmetics company, he really used the platform that he did have on social media to get it out there and make people want to buy his makeup. I don't think that people necessarily thought, oh, you know, these are quality cosmetics. Oh, this is good. And I'm not saying that Jeffrey Star Cosmetics are like, you know, lowly cosmetics or anything like that. But I don't think that people, the allure, the initial draw into Jeffrey's makeup was because it was, you know, high quality. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. It was because because, oh, Jeffree Star from YouTube. Oh, yeah, Jeffrey. Oh, he's funny. Yeah, he's the guy that comes on YouTube and says, hey, hi, how are you? Oh, I really like him. Yeah, you know what? I'll buy $80 worth of merch. Sure. So that's kind of where it compounded. And Jeffrey really we reached, in my opinion, the pinnacle of his YouTube fame sometime in like 2018, 2019. And then he got up caught up in a lot of drama and then the pandemic hit. So this... This little resurgence in 2023, you know, trying to be the number one TikToker and having a bunch of people that are controversial and popular on TikTok by his side so that he can have more eyes on him as a result. You know, uh, this is just something that Jeffrey does. Um, you know, call him a good businessman, call him whatever you call him, a th call him whatever you want. <laughs> but this is what he does and he seems to be good at it. But all right, that is how... That that is how we ended the night. We ended it with a selfie and a happy birthday. So yeah, I guess today, as you're watching this, it is officially Jeffrey's birthday. So as we know, today will be the party. I'd imagine that they will go live again. I'd imagine that there will be some type of event. Um, I don't know what's going to go on Thursday and Friday, but then Saturday they're doing the meet and greet event in Wyoming. We don't know who's going to that, if Eugenia's going to go to that, but there will be free cake there for everybody, for the first 400 shoppers, <laughs> for the first 400 shoppers that show up to this little party and spend a hundred dollars, you get a gift bag valued at 700, whatever that means. So you can go there and get your little, um, $700 bag worth of stuff, um, a free piece of cake, and then you can take a picture of Jeffrey. That sounds like a Saturday well spent, right? <laughs> one of you um did comment on yesterday's video that you're gonna go um i forget your name i'm sorry it's losing me i've lost it right now but um if any of you go and any of you get footage or whatever if you want to send me an email it's in the description below of the footage that you do get be much appreciated i'd imagine that there will be footage of the event from saturday in some type of capacity whether it makes it to a youtube vlog or if they all just go live on tiktok but hey 
more footage is good footage. Um, in terms of following Jeffrey and Eugenia and the little TikTok posse and being able to have all of this documented and formatted, it is a little bit difficult for me because like I've said, oh my God, I just said I wasn't going to say it and here I am saying it again. You know, once they do these lives on here, I the footage goes away. So unless I'm physically at my computer pressing record, and you know what's the really, it's not even that. It's not even, you know what the really annoying part is? Anytime they come on here and they do a live or they pause the stream or they do they do anything, I swear, the stream buffers and that I have to come in and I have to re refresh the page and then um, it'll take it out of max, uh, you know, full screen. It'll put, put it into like a, a minimized portion. So I have to go in and press the maximize button again. It's really hell. I, I mean, do y'all do see what I'm going through? <laughs> So anything y'all get, anything, any clips, any, any, anything, it's always appreciated, always um, very welcomed because I am not able to get it all on my own. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a good fisherman, but you know, can't, can't get every fish in the sea here. So we are going to now be hopping on into some of the clips that were posted online prior to when I started recording another channel. I will give them credit on here. Another channel was able to get footage of it to put it on YouTube. And then we will be hopping into what I have. Okay, so here we are. Um, the name of the person that was able to throw this on up for us was Wolf Game Productions 7402 if you care to give them a follow. Let's take a look at what they got. So this is when Eugenia originally arrived at the exclusive after early access party. Eugenia's in the building! Isn't it cool? Collection. We're just shopping and, and swiping and, and playing around. Wait, Paul, come say hi to everyone. Let's get Paul in here. Paul's in the building. Yes. Look at Paul. Look at, look at Crystal. Is it, how hot does Crystal look? Yeah, she looks so cute. She's so nice. She's slain. It's a TikTok party, y'all. Yes. Paul is here, baby. Hi, you guys. Okay, so I have a question, Paul. Yeah, we have a we have a few more. We have like fifteen more minutes of the shopping, maybe twenty. Um, I knew Paul would go. I I knew that it would kind of be their little click. I don't know where Rich is. You, uh, we all thought that Rich was gonna go. Maybe maybe he'll go to the thing because this was the early access party. So I'd imagine whatever is going to air tonight, this will big this will be the big hoo ha. Whatever airs tonight and then whatever goes on Saturday, that'll be like the cream of the crop footage that we'll be able to take a look at eventually. But yeah, this was just the clip of Eugenia initially walking into the building and greeting Jeffrey. Jeffrey seemed a little bit blase a little bit um detached from eugenia like we talked about a little bit yesterday i do not think that eugenia will have the opportunity to be the kind of clingy little bit crawling up jeffrey's butt attitude that she was when she originally visited two and a half weeks ago i think that eugenia is going to feel a little bit overwhelmed a little bit out of place a little bit awkward and she doesn't want to come across as annoying she doesn't want to come across as overbearing um she wants to be you know on her best behavior she wants to come across as cool and, um, you know, in my experience, the more that you try to be cool, the less cool you're being. It's kind of just something that happens naturally. So I think that Eugenia is really in her head at this event. She's going to be constantly looking over her shoulder and being self-conscious about what she's saying and, you know, meeting all these new people. And, you know, she always wants to come across as the sweetheart, that kind, amazing, wonderful person that she makes herself out to be online for us. So let's go ahead and move on to the next clip. Eugenia's in the building. It's so nice to meet you. See, I, I, sorry, I just wanted to watch the beginning of that one more time. I mean, he, he seemed excited about it, but... If this were, okay, if this were my friend, 
if this was someone that meant a lot to me and I was having a birthday party and I was launching a new milestone in my business and it was someone that I really wanted to be there, I mean, the fact that Jeffrey didn't even initially turn around and give his undivided attention to Eugenia. It was kind of like, oh, look at this side character in the background. Everybody pay attention to her for five seconds. Okay, back to me, back to me, back to me. So, I mean, he does turn around and give her a hug and everything, but... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just, I don't, maybe I had just have a little bit of a soft spot for Eugenia right now just because it's like the person that doesn't really fit in. And this, 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 this just coming across as so like, oh, hey, you know, we invite like, like the popular kids in high school. Hey, we invited you. You're so glad you could make it. It's just like, they're like a trinket or, you know, some type of accessory that's there for a certain reason. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just... You know, revs me the wrong way. I mean, we've talked through and through about this, but. All right, clip number two that I did not capture myself. Apparently, they're just chit-chatting a little bit here, and they're making plans to go to a restaurant after this little ticky talk battle is over with. Was he compressed? Let Barb say goodbye to everyone. I'm licking my hair. Oh, my God, you guys. The chat is going so fast. She just just seems kind of out of place. Um, some people some people are better at walking into a group full of people that they don't know and sort of acclimating to the social situation a lot better than others. I, I feel like other than Paul, you know, who which by the way she's meeting for the very first time, but knows through TikTok only. Other than Paul, the only person she knows there is Eugenia. I mean, maybe she knows a couple other them, but it's the same thing. It's like, well, we know each other through TikTok, so it, it's just I don't know. So like, I have I have had friends on the internet, and like we formed like you know a very good friendship on the internet and then we met up in person and it, it's just different i mean i'm not saying it's better or worse it's just it's different you know being around someone you know being in the flesh with someone is a lot different than having an online friendship with someone so i don't really think that eugenia knows what to do um she's just kind of standing there awkwardly in the background doesn't really say anything unless she is addressed there was one point during this clip i'm gonna let it play a little bit because it is like more toward the middle. There's one clip where, I mean, she's just kind of standing, staring off to the side, not really knowing what to say. Again, very self-conscious, doesn't really want to step on any toes, doesn't want to be annoying, doesn't want to come across as overbearing, just kind of wants to come across as kind, cool, calm, and collected. But there was one time where Jeffrey turned around and looked directly at her, and it was only for a brief second. And she did say, you know, oh, I'm so happy for your collection or, you know, something along the lines. Oh, it looks beautiful. This looks amazing. So, I mean, other than Eugenia coming here to compliment Jeffrey or compliment the collection itself, I don't think that she is going to have much to offer the conversation. And she probably isn't going to take the, take the lead take the uh the lead in starting conversations or anything like if people come up to her and they start talking to her it's like oh yeah this is, oh my god like you're so pretty but i don't think i don't i do not think that eugenia will jump into it and you know act in a way that she acted two and a half weeks ago when it was just her and jeffrey i think in a large social setting like this it's gonna we're gonna see a lot more of a reserved version of her i'm like this 
Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I walk? And I was drinking a Red Bull. Did you see what I mean right there? Like he he was turned around talking to someone else and Eugenia was off to the side by herself saying, I'm so happy for you. Oh. It's, it's just kind of awkward to see this happen. Um, because, I, I mean, we've all experienced... Maybe not firsthand, but we have all experienced this kind of awkward social situation and in some capacity in life, I feel like. Maybe if you weren't the person that felt awkward, you can kind of see when people are a bit out of place in in social settings. It's kind of like, oh, well, you know, it's, oh, it looks like, looks like you're struggling. Looks like you're struggling a little bit. So, I, I mean, you know, I want Eugenia to have fun and everything, but I don't think this is what she needs at the end of the day. I don't, th I mean, you know, being in Los Angeles to promote and celebrate the new launch palette of Jeffrey so that he can make another $20 million. I, I don't, I don't think that this is what Eugenia needs to be or who she should be surrounded with right now. So, I, I mean, you know, it's like, yeah, I want her to have fun on one hand, but it's like, I, I also don't think that she should be in this social situation to begin with. I don't think that these are her people. I don't think that this is who she thrives around. Okay, now we're going to move on to my footage that I was able to get. This is uh, one of two parts. So let's just hop on into it. If I skip around a little bit, it's just, you know. Because it, really, all in all, like, I, I don't think a lot is said and a lot goes on in this footage. But I could be wrong. <laughs> I change or just keep this on? <laughs> keep it on? Yeah. Thank God no one can see my high heels. <laughs> uh huh. We're mine. My heels are really cute right now. We're matching. Oh. They're comfortable. <laughs> no, they look great, guys. Uh huh. Ooh, a lot of ocean emojis. Yes. Yes. yes we Ooh. Oh my God. Oh, we're at 4.6 million. Oh my God. I, oh my God. We're almost to 5 million. Let's go. Let's go. That's fire. Yes. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're celebrating the real Chrissy one, Chad. Period. First ever official Road to Superstars battle in less than 20. And, and, it's my birthday edition. Yes. Are you excited? Crystal, I've always noticed the way JK is looking up and down, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I but mean, how can you not? No matter how, Hello. no matter. How Notice how he'll turn around and he'll address them one by one. Turned around, Crystal, you're being summoned. Come here. I'm going to give you a compliment. Crystal, you are looking sexy. You are slaying. Okay, back to the live. <laughs> Like I would, I would almost expect him to turn around right now and go, Eugenia, a word. <laughs> How he looks at her, you guys. She's my period. That's my baby mama. The fuck? The <laughs> <laughs> She's mine. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey sounds like a spoon. He's mine. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I think they're about yeah. to hit 5 million. Oh my god. They're at 4.9! We're at 4.9! Let's go, we're almost to 5 million, y'all. Yes. Tap the screen. Oh my god, y'all, tap the screen. Don't make me say 6 million before the battle. What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? 6.12. Oh my god, it's 6.12. It's 6.12. Yes. Oh my god, you guys. 5 million. This is crazy. Let's go say hi to Barbie really quick. You know what's crazy? The whole concept of this. It's, it's someone that has over $100 million. And it's, you know, little Cindy Lou Who from South Carolina with her mom's credit card uh, hooked up to her TikTok account, sending in emojis to someone who has this obscene amount of wealth. <laughs> Guys, we're almost at five million. And, 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 you know, even the crazier part about it, if we want to add another layer onto it, this is to celebrate Jeffrey's launch of selling merchandise that will make him even more money. <laughs> oh my it's just i don't know it's just i i think that it's funny how 
they are able to market how fun it is to pay them. <laughs> you know what was the, the funniest thing? One of the funniest things I ever saw on the internet was a really long time ago when Kylie Jenner was on the precipice of becoming a billionaire. It was like, you know, uh, Forbes first uh, billionaire under the age of 21, Kylie Jenner. Remember, she she covered Forbes or whatever. Um, <laughs> she, it, it was like a live countdown of how much money she had. It was like 995 million and someone made a GoFundMe and it said, let's get Kylie Jenner to a billion. <laughs> just, I, I don't know. It's just funny how the average person nowadays, you know, it's like struggling to pay for groceries, struggle, struggling for childcare, struggling to make ends meet. And then it's just there are other people on this planet where it's just <laughs> completely different. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my god, we broke the we broke our pot. How long, Crystal? 6.13. It's 6.13, the battle's at 6.30. Is Barb's live? I am I'm Barbs! Look at my baby! <laughs> Y'all, me and Barb's are about to do one of the biggest battles in TikTok history. We're in no, it's hot. That's a hot angle, but open okay. the thing a little- mm. I, rem I remember her. She was the one that was on the call when original when Jeffrey originally did the 5150 thing. It was him and uh, Paul versus this Barb's person and Eugenia. And then when Eugenia got knocked out, she like real quick went, Bye, Eugenia! And then she got cut off. And then Jeffrey said, 5150, yeah, get her out of here. And now they're all hanging out a month and a half later. <laughs> Y'all, me and Barb's are about to do one of the biggest battles in TikTok it's history. Too We're in it's too high? No, it's hot. That's a hot angle. But open okay. the thing a little more, baby. You guys, me and Barb's have, have to be in. See, this is what I mean about TikTok. Like, unless I come in and manually refresh the page, like, it'll do this forever. Come over here. Face. Keep <sighs> so we got to go in different rooms. Star family, we're at 5.3 million likes. Keep, keep tapping my face. Keep yeah, tapping my face. Excited. Okay, Barb. I'm so excited. I love you, friend. I love you, too. Hi, Barb. You're so <laughs> Barb, Yes. Hi. Come over here, Eugenia. Come say hi, oh, guys. Okay, he's in there. I gotta stay here. I gotta, and everyone has to be off white. It's lagging crazy when I move it. And then delete my. Go crazy for the first ever. Before y'all. It's a battle and not. Let's get it. 0.6 million. Battle of the year. In like. A million. Tap my face. Tap my face. One. Part one is going down and literally... Okay, so I think at this point, Eugenia is in that back room hanging with Barb's and everyone else is out here doing the live. What's all this? Who are these people? Look, this guy has Jeffrey balloons. Look, he, he went to his local party city and had these blown up to set up in his living room. <laughs> Oh my god. All right. Well, is there anything else on this? We can move on over to part two if there's nothing left on this. Yeah, I think that this is just them doing their little battle or intro to the battle thing. Okay, so at this point, Eugenia has come back into the room with Jeffrey, and they're all sort of dancing because I think he's winning. I, 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 like, <laughs> coffee. Obviously, he's winning. Here with Jeffrey, you guys. I have to. Yo, Obviously, he's winning, everyone. Star family never loses. Moi. I never realized how short Paul was. Because Eugenia's always saying, people think I'm a lot taller than I actually am. I'm only 5'6". So, I'm, yes, granted, she's in heels, I'd imagine, right now. I mean, these boots, I'd imagine, are a heel. 
but how tall is Paul? I mean, if if this if these heels are bringing her up like two three inches, I mean Paul's probably. I didn't realize Paul was that short. I mean, not that it matters. <laughs> the hell, Barbie! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Damn! Jody Eugenia, Queen! <laughs> Oh my god. This is so good. We'll do it. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. They won't stop. Oh my freaking goodness, you guys. Tied up in that suit. Hey, but we do. And we don't even rap. We do things. Oh my god. How do I do this? Let's see if I'm going to do one. How do I do this? Oh, and you can kind of see in this shot up here how everybody's kind of dancing around and kind of in the moment. I think that Eugenia is very uncomfortable at the moment. I mean, we can kind of see her playing on her phone right here. I mean, who knows? Maybe she is doing something worthwhile or, you know, helping. Oh, you know what she's doing right now? We talked about this earlier. Eugenia was like the top gifter for this. So sh while everybody was in the background dancing around and, you know, fist bumping to the music, Eugenia was on her phone sending Jeffrey emojis so that he would win. Oh, that's what she's doing right now. Yeah, she's on her phone sending in baby dragons and galaxies because Eugenia sent in somewhere between three and four thousand dollars to Jeffrey so that he would win this specific battle. Oh my god, it just clicked with me. And I was think I was thinking like two, like just a second ago. I was like, why are they all screaming her name? Let's let's go back a little bit because just like a second ago they all went, Eugenia! And I was thinking, like, why did they randomly just do that? Like she's just standing there not doing anything. Why did you guys scream her name? And it's because she's sending in money. <laughs> so I guess that you can buy your way out of being socially awkward now. Hey! Look at that. <laughs> Damn. Jody, Eugenia, Queen. Oh my gosh. How does she open this? Oh, you press the bottom right here. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, did you mute me? Did you mute me? All right, you guys. You guys, Deb, thank you so much, Devin. I freaking love you, Jody, Virginia, Queen. Oh my gosh! Oh, okay. So not only is Eugenia giving Jeffrey money, she's giving Barb's money too. So I don't know, but but between Barb's and Jeffrey, Eugenia probably dropped like five grand last night. <laughs> Are you fellas up for one more? Oh, you guys want to do one more? Up we would love to. You guys, while we're doing this victory lap, go follow both of them right now. Star family and everyone on Barb's side, go follow them right now. These are amazing creators that go live. Oh, I'm a moron. See, I'm still learning. Barb's and Jeffrey are on the same team. Okay. So I, I guess you can gift Jeffrey or Barb's, and it'll go toward beating whoever these people are. Every day. Wait, follow my profile. Oh my god. Are, can, can one of you let me know in the comments? Like, are these anybody like notable on TikTok or are these just random people? Because I mean, if you're going up against Barb's and Jeffree Star, obviously people who have a lot of followers on here. I, I mean, what, wouldn't it have been, you know, an ass kicking and a hair pulling anyway against, you know, random one and random two? I mean, I, you know, I feel like this would have been a little bit more formidable if he would have went up against another internet celebrity. But I, I could be wrong. I mean, I don't know. These could be these could be people. I just I, I don't know. Who who's Jeffrey Balloon Guy? Can anyone let me know who Jeffrey Balloon Guy is? Like, is this a fair match or this is this just kind of for fun? Yo, D, yo, everybody drop Ryan, D emote in the chat right now. Guys. Queen, Crystal, Jody, Eugenia. 
Yeah, y'all, let's do it. Let's do a victory battle, y'all. A victory lap. Oh my god, she keeps sending in donations. I, I mean, that's, that the, the concept of this is just so weird to me. You're at a party with someone, and they're sending you money five... Look, look, let me just look at this for a second. Her standing off to the corner by herself, aloof, on her phone, donating to Barb's. And then Barb's looking at her screen, saying, thank you, Eugenia. Girl, turn around and say it to her. <laughs> oh... Crystal, Kelsey, Shauna, Dre, I'm Donna, Donna, one Austin. more for Funsky. Checker, what up? Thank you guys so much. All the people following. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, Barb. Thank you, guys. Absolutely. All right, y'all. Let's tap it in more, guys. Let's tap it in. Let's go. Give me more. Everybody. D Gore, you guys. D Gore emo. It's the emo family. D, you're all fucking real Thank you guys. Everyone on this side as well. Follow Barb's and Jeffrey as well. Show love to them, please. I was gonna Show love to both of them, please. <laughs> a lot of respect for both of them so Look at the birthday thank you guys so much every last one of you guys all the people that are following me thank you guys thank you all right y'all oh they have a cake he just said they have a cake do we oh <laughs> do you think that this is the cake that's going to be served saturday at the meet and greet <laughs> you, you think you think after tonight they're going to freeze it <laughs> <laughs> and then have someone, I don't know, drive it back to Wyoming and then they'll set this up on uh, little individual plates for Saturday's meet and greet. <laughs> two cakes, Jord. There's two different cakes. <laughs> All right, we'll go, we'll go with that. Bars, oh, yeah, this is the last one, you guys. Oh, this is a good song. Hey, listen, everything counts, but I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I did not expect to be on podium after this, so I'm so grateful. Everything counts. I mean, I'd imagine at this point in the game, these probably these these two probably have like five million points, and these people probably have like five thousand. Everything counts, though. You guys seriously keep sending in money. <laughs> Anything could happen. Seriously, they they could have a four point five million comeback in like that and come and beat us. So keep sending in things. Heart hands, galaxies, giraffes, alligators. Keep sending them. Shout out to everyone on Barb's side. Every last Star one family of you guys. and Barb is coming together. I fucking love you. Unreal. Jody. Oh my Grace. god. Grace. You guys, we won the road to superstars. Me and Barb. Now we're doing a, a a fourth one, a little victory lap, a little cool down, if you will. Girl, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. My ass is sticking to the seat. My ass is sticking to my ass. <laughs> <laughs> my ass for days. Right. Oh my god, baby. That is crazy. Hillbilly. Oh my god, I had to move. I had to move my body. We're at, we're at Star Studios right here in LA, y'all, where I shoot all my famous campaigns. Epic to celebrate my birthday with everyone here in LA. All right, y'all, last battle, the doubles. Let's drop it like it's hot. Double! Double! I need more of these. I don't know what's happening. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god. Ryan, please. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. Yes, but the food fairs! I'm sticking to my ass. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, but the food fairs! Take me out, baby. Take me to dinner. Oh my God, we're over 13 million likes on my live. I'm gonna throw up. Like I'm, I actually can't process this right now. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my. Oh my. Live. Rice. Oh my. If you haven't already, please. Michael, your background. All right. All right. Bacon is good. Okay. Oh my god, you guys. That was Oh my god. Yo, what just happened? Star fam really Barb. did that. Barbie. No, thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Everyone clap it up in the chat. That was crazy. Oh my god. That was crazy. The clapping. Look, look, the the clapping. It's like a group of five people. It's like let's let's all clap for them for getting money sent in. 
this is just hysterical to me the concept but I, I get it though it's it's hype it's fun there's music there's emojis there's everything but <laughs> but i mean when when this turns off when when this live stream shuts off <laughs> pretty, pretty much all that happened was uh, a bunch of bank transfers <laughs> What? You never expect people to show up for you, so when they do, it's just it's really special. It's just it's just it's really special. Yeah. Everyone. Oh my God. I want I want to thank more people, Barb's, because my list is so long. No. MP Creations. Almost made me cry on camera. <laughs> no, Don't you? Deb, you're need. such a real one. Much love. Lion. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. It kind of seems like Eugenia has one friend here. And it's like she wants to gravitate toward her one friend. But the one friend here is... B between the TikTok and interacting with everybody else, Jeffrey's trying to spread himself so thin that there's no way that he can give the amount of attention and interaction to Eugenia that she would like. You know what I didn't get that she just said right now that I don't I don't understand. You never expect people to show up for you, but then you're surprised. Or she said something like, you know, you never expect people to show up for you. So when they do, it's crazy. It's like, girl, girl, you go live on TikTok every day and you get thousands of dollars and donations all the time. What do you mean people don't show up for you? This is you guys broke a record for the most prolific TikTok battle ever. I mean, if this isn't people showing up for you, I don't know what is. <laughs> Deb, Deb, nothing but Deb you you're me. such a real one. Much love to you, my brother. Thank you. Oh my God. God. So much. You right. And then this right. bitch is almost made me cry on camera. <laughs> no, that's don't you, you don't like, get emotional. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, what? Uh -uh. Don't you, we're not, we're not crying tonight. No, we're not. No, 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 no. Do you all think Jeffrey can cry on command? I I don't know. It just it, uh, Jeffrey just seems very calculated. Like a lot of the emotions that Jeffrey expresses, I don't think that those are emotions that he's necessarily feeling on the inside. <laughs> that that was a very nice way of me calling him fake. <laughs> I've only seen Jeffrey cry the one time from uh, when he broke up with uh, Sh Sh Schwandit, Nate, Nate Schwandit, the boyfriend. Oh. You guys, how is this happening? Oh my God. You guys, that was the biggest battle of my life career so because there's a lot of people in here barbs we just annihilated my very first ever road to superstars tomorrow is my actual birthday and me and the homie j face are partnering together for part two part two y'all click my name register to battle me and him versus two other creators tomorrow night saddle up uh, okay, so this is what they're going to do on his actual birthday. I don't I don't know who this is, but they're going to do the exact same that they did tonight, tomorrow. So who knows? If this was the most, you know, well-received or well-interacted with TikTok live stream ever, I'd imagine tomorrow night will beat it or, you know, come very close to it. But wouldn't it make more sense if Jeffrey went up against someone that was on his level? I, I mean... I don't, I don't know who's popular on TikTok, but I, I would just, you know, we, we would expect Jeffrey to go up against another internet celebrity, not, you know, random guy in living room with balloons. Going down, y'all. Be ready, be prepared. Bring everything we got, y'all, because it's going to go nuts. Let me just, where we're at. Yeah. T Roller, Carolyn, Jinx. I'm so. Are doing a battle tomorrow. So then. Oh my God. That part. It's that part. That's a real one. <laughs> serious. Let's play quad game. Wanna play quad game? Five thousand quad game. Two million quad game. <laughs> oh, I thought that was it. Seven, seven, seven. Seven, seven. Okay. 
Then like in like an hour we'll go for food and drinks. Okay. Yeah. And just chill and decompress. Yeah. Oh Take in what just happened. So they all went to some restaurant after this. Hmm. Food and drinks. Like I put on some shoes. Processed it all. That was crazy. Star fan really did their I'm thing. I'm so happy for you, baby. Me too. You deserve it. So, yeah, like, so you guys, I'm so shook. shook. Like, Thank you. Yo. I didn't know what to expect, yeah. but I was shook. Seriously, Let me set this down. This shit's heavy. Seriously. Honestly, Jeffrey does so much for so many well, people you know, on this I app. Be and it's oh, did you see that just now? Eugenia in the background was saying something, but she got her voice got drowned out by everyone else in the room, so she just stopped talking. Like, Thank you. Really do. I didn't know what to expect, yeah. but I was shook. Seriously, Let me set this down. This shit's heavy. Seriously. Honestly, Jeffrey does so much for so many well, people you know, on this I app. And really it's, we have a couple days to celebrate his birthday. Absolutely. You know, he, he's done so much for so many of us. So we appreciate him more than Thank you so much, Thank you. Thank you. We're just grateful to have him around. And for everyone to fly in and drive in a for this blessing. celebration is so special. It's a blessing. Fact. It is a blessing. Yeah. Thank you. Guys. So he deserves oh all God. the love in the yes. world. His number one Huge, is going you. to hit tonight. Let's go. Yes. Wild. Number one. Number one. And you know, reset's only 1 a.m. here now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. no, it's 12. No, it's 12. It's, 12. Yeah. it's only four four yeah. hours and 41 minutes. Oh, baby, I'm staying up yeah. until reset. Oh, yeah. 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 You guys, we, we are gonna go out for a little bit and then we'll, go, we'll do a little live later, but we, we're gonna go celebrate, have an amazing moment. I'm gonna change out of this. I'm gonna wear something else. Your hair is so hot. Thank that color is so everything. Like it. It, it just changes everything. Mm. That's how it was when I went from like something to like the blonde. Yeah. It was like, I'm doing this I can't white. stop looking at myself. I don't yeah. think I've yes. looked at myself this much. He hasn't really given Eugenia any compliments tonight. I mean, he's he's really doting on Barb's and what was that other girl's name? Crystal. I think her name was Crystal. Yeah. Wasn't Eugenia's hair nice? This is your best friend since 2008. Are you going to turn around and compliment something about her? So beautiful. The color is gorgeous. <laughs> yes, that's Eugenia, y'all. Yes. She's looking at Crystal's beautiful hair. I was. I, was, I can't get over it. I love her. It's so beautiful. It's stunning. Thank you, guys. What an amazing victory. Yeah, we had TikTok was like... Okay. Okay. No problem. No problem. No problem. Let's go. <laughs> like, what the hell? All right, so we'll go out in like an hour or less. We'll decompress, let Barb say, say bye to everyone. Not me licking my hair. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. The chat is going so fast. That was nuts. Yeah, I still, I'm like still processing. I'm buzzing, I know, I'm like, That's where do I go, where do I go, where do I walk? Yeah, like, and I was drinking a Red Bull, so I was like, oh my God. <laughs> That's what I mean. Oh you got to, it's only guys. right. It's iconic. Red Bull during the battle. Yes, for real. <laughs> Let me write it. Let me write it. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Yes. I can't wait for it to be off. Yeah. I would imagine after this, when they do go for drinks and appetizers or whatever, um, Eugenia will probably just go back to the hotel room. I would imagine, like, oh, you know, it was a long flight. I've, it's been a long day. I'm jet lagged. Uh, you know, I think I'm just going to go back to the room. But I'll see you tomorrow. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow when you guys aren't at a restaurant. I would imagine that it will be something along the lines of that. You know, I, I mean, who knows? Maybe, maybe she did go. You know, maybe it's not the case. But just kind of seems like there's always some sort of a caveat with her. I gotta go change my outfit soon, y'all. I'm sweating. Yeah. I'm gonna change my lip, and I'm gonna change my outfit. I might just wear a bathrobe to the restaurant. I'm gonna go comfortable. Yeah, I think you're gonna, well, because you said it's like a pants. You're wearing this, right? Should I change? So what? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Let me write it. 
Oh, they want to see the car? I forgot there was a car behind me. Sure, come on. <laughs> I'm like, what car are y'all talking about? I love 1929 Ford Model A. For real, for real. But good thing you see all right, y'all. Well, I think that that was the end of the Tuesday night footage that I got. All right, y'all. We're going to hop in on into Community Corner to round out today's episode. So first up on the table of discussion tonight, a lot of you pointed out with the Mariah Carey All I Want for Christmas is You video that the Santa, Santa, oh my gosh, Santa lingerie is back. Apparently, this is something that Eugenia has done year after year. And as soon as it turns November, Eugenia is kind of pretty much always wearing a cutesy little Santa lingerie outfit. And I'm sure that this will go on for about six more weeks, day after day after day. Um, as always, a lot of you expressed frustration with that video. This is nothing new. Um, you know, we've talked about this time and time again, when you see someone like Eugenia on social media dancing around and doing the things that she's doing in certain outfits, um, this is the same exact thing that we've seen with the, uh, Selena video, the Cruel Summer video, the one where she got the Jack Skellington, uh, toys and started to do like barbells with them. Um, pretty much... The goal in mind, a lot of people are thinking, is that Eugenia is taunting and trolling and provoking her audience on purpose. So, as always, the Santa lingerie dancing video, along with a lot of the other dancing videos that she does, frustrated a lot of you and did not sit the best. Some of you got into a discussion on something that I talked about during the footage I just covered, in which all of these parties, the party Tuesday, the party Wednesday... Whatever they do Thursday and Friday, and then the meet and greet Saturday. I mean, we know that the meet and greet Saturday will have cake. We already know that because it said on the flyer, free cake. Um, all of these parties will have food and drinks. And for someone like Eugenia, this might be trigger triggering on top of the fact that she is in a very overwhelming social setting that she isn't used to. My opinion on this is I think that everybody is aware of Eugenia. I do not think that people will be going up to her and encouraging her to do things or try things or do things that other people at the party may be consuming just because they know that it may, might put her in an uncomfortable situation. So, yeah, I'd imagine that all of these parties having things like that there would bother her and would be a trigger for her. But I don't think that the pressure will come from some of the other people at the party because I think that everyone is kind of aware. So in regards to Eugenia fitting in at some of these social situations, these birthday parties and the meet and greets in the upcoming days, a lot of people says that Eugenia, similarly to how she didn't realize when she was staying with Jeffrey, if she was being too much, that kind of might happen again. You know, maybe... A lot of the other people at these events might find Eugenia annoying. She's someone that has difficulty reading a room. She doesn't know if she's being too much. She doesn't know if she's not being enough. She doesn't know if she should shut up. She doesn't know if she should say something. Um, I'm sure she's constantly in her head and she's being very self-conscious about everything that is going on with this because this for a very long time has been Eugenia's first opportunity to come out and do some stuff with a bunch of other TikTok people. A couple of you brought up the scenario in which there is a potential for drama. When you put a lot of the same kind of person in the room, some of those personalities will try to be a little bit more dominant than others. I think that Jeffrey is someone that needs to take up all the air in the room. He needs to have the spotlight on him. So when you put a lot of people that are very vain and... um have a lot of self-interest, a lot of fake people. When you put a lot of fake people in the same room, there is a chance that something could um, happen. Similarly to what went on with Trisha all those years ago, when Rich and Jeffrey and you know all the all the stuff went down with Hair by Jay, all that went on, and Trisha came on and she had that big breakdown about how she's afraid of Jeffrey. Um, maybe there might be some a uh, little bit of 
discourse between this group of people. So I don't know if anything like that would ever be aired or released here on YouTube for us to listen to like it was with Trisha all the, you know, all those years ago. I mean, the only reason we heard about that really was because Trisha. Trisha came on and talked about it. And I do not think that maybe this group of people, they seem to be very interested in perpetuating the vibe that everybody's happy, everybody's cool, everybody's calm and collected, everybody's pos very positive. The positive vibes are really trying to be drilled into the audience. So if there is something, it'd probably be kept on the DL, but never say never. Um, you guys talked a little bit about TikTok and Eugenia's account being banned and unbanned and banned and unbanned. What if you brought up a really good point? And this is something that I haven't considered or talked about here on this channel. And that's TikTok maybe kind of being a little bit frustrated and annoyed with Eugenia on her platform because of how controversial she is and how many reports her account receives. So Maybe they're just continuing to let this happen because one of you said that you worked in customer service and you said, well, if you can't get rid of somebody, make them miserable. Make, them, make, it, make it so they want to leave. And I thought that that was actually a really good point. I mean, do you think that maybe Eugenia will just accept defeat and say, oh my gosh, well, you know what? I mean, why do I even post videos? Why do I even go live? I'm just going to get banned. So I, I might as well just, I don't know, find another platform. Do you think that they're just kind of trying to wear her out until she's done with it entirely? Do you think that this is just Eugenia not being worth TikTok's time and efforts to put her as a priority and preventing this from happening? Because it seems to keep happening pretty consistently and I don't see an end to it. Um, thought that that was an interesting point that one of you brought up. Um, lastly, will the Saturday meet and greet flop? A couple of you talked about Jeffrey having meet and greets in the past where they were very blown up. There were posters. There was a whole lot of coverage surrounding the event. And then not a lot of people showed up. So Casper, Wyoming doesn't really strike me as an area that would be too, um, great at hosting a meet and greet party like this. Honestly, I don't know why they just didn't do it in LA. Why didn't they do the meet and greet in LA? Hmm. Why go back to Casper to do that? Because we know that Jeffrey put out that big flyer and it said the first 400 people to spend $100 will receive a gift bag valued at $700. And a lot of you were talking about that specific promotion and how you've seen things similar to that in the past about how sometimes cosmetic companies will do this. They'll say, oh yeah, spend spend this and then we'll give you all of this. But actually it's just a lot of makeup that is on the precipice of expiring. So I don't know. Are you going to get a little bag worth a bunch of makeup that at one point, maybe a year or two ago, was worth valued up to $700. And that's kind of how they're passing it by. I don't really know. But honestly, the thing that I'm most concerned about is, will there be 400 people there willing to spend $100? Uh, I don't know. So I, I don't know if Jeffrey is expecting a big blowout. Casper, Wyoming kind of seems like a very not great area to do something like this. One of you mentioned that people from Denver, Colorado might drive up. It's about a four hour ish drive, but I don't know. Driving four hours to go to Jeffrey's store to spend money to get a little bag and get a picture with him. Maybe, maybe, who knows, but we shall see. I definitely think that there will be a lot of footage tomorrow at the birthday party itself, and then there will be a lot of footage Saturday at the meet and greet. So I think that that is all we have to talk about in terms of what you guys have been saying on Community Corner side of things. And uh, let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know what you want to talk about, what you found interesting, and uh, what you think is in store for us in the coming days. So thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out. See you soon.